All right, ladies, apparently Facebook will actually throw you off immediately if you try to dance to a song on a live video. So my last video may have shown for a second for you guys, but when I went to go upload, it kicked me off. So the song that I actually played this morning was Missy Elliott's Flip It and Reverse It. And I was jamming out and grinding and having a great time. I showed off my pretty new bra. I showed off my pretty new pair of heart underwear because I show or my panties I said underwear oh my god can you imagine I said underwear my heart panties um to represent that I'm here I'm gonna love you more over the next 12 days than you could ever imagine and I so pissed off that I got kicked off because of my song that I came in as a lead intro anyhow it's grounded me I'm back and I'm here to share with you what this 12 days of Christmas is gonna look like I say flip it and reverse it because if you think about it, the 12 days to Christmas is first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me, right? It's this build up, right? And I'm thinking, no, we're gonna count down the 12 days of Christmas together. And so here's what I'm gonna be doing over the next 12 days to give you a little bit of naughty and nice. And at the end of it, I'm asking you guys to all invite all your cookies into this clubhouse, all your friends, all your girlfriends that you're thinking, yeah, they could use a little bit of love. Yeah, they could use a little bit of spicing up in the bedroom or spicing up in their life in the kitchen, learning how to make love to those cookies instead of thinking it's something bad or wrong, right? So please go ahead and invite all your ladies in. Now, the woman that actually invites the most women in are gonna totally get a cookie technique. And I'm not talking about just one session with me, like the entire cookie technique. So I hope all you like ladies aggressively go at and invite as many women into this beautiful little clubhouse as possible so I could give that to the lady that gets the most cookies in here. Because my goal, my objective in this world is to make a difference not only in your life, but millions of women across the country. With that, I'm gonna move on into my lesson of the day. <sighs> love languages. I'm going to sit down for this. Okay, so here it goes. Love languages. Everyone knows that I did not develop the love languages, right? But it's something that I use in the cookie technique. And it's something that has actually helped women all over realize that they can do more, not only for themselves, but for the ones that they love. And one of the greatest gifts I've gotten is that um, I know my children's love language. So when they come in and they're asking for something, I can already identify to where their needs and wants are in their body just by their natural top two love languages. So therefore I'm able to present and be the best fucking mom in the world. And I'm telling you what, going into this holiday season, that means more than anything to me. My daughter's love language, top love language is acts of gifts. And you know what? Sometimes people think that's selfish, but it's not. It's actually her real love language. And I teach her all the time. Of course, not to be a selfish little brat, right? But knowing your love language, knowing your loved one's love languages is crucial in this world, right? So my daughter's is gifts and I've taught her how to use that well and be proud of what her love language is. And my son, oh my freaking God, his is quality time. So when he comes in and says, hey mom, I got something to share with you. I'm like, here it goes. Quality time, right? Learning to also set my boundaries with that and, and um, knowing when I'm busy and then presenting to him when I'm not. But knowing your loved one's love languages and feeling it for yourself and watching them with that laser sharp focus can make all the difference in the world. So ladies, it's really important to know your own love language so that when you're out there in the world and you're like dating or you're with your husband or whatever and you're like, we keep having the same argument all the freaking time, right? What's going on? Or this guy, like, you don't know why you're really not getting along with him, but you're attracted to him. You have this chemistry, but you're like, something's not jiving. It may be because you don't know your own love language and you're not presenting yourself as so. When I go on dates, I sit down and be like, okay, this, this, and this, this is who I am. If you don't have time for me, it's not going to work. Um, if you're not into physical touch or show a public display, holding my hand and cuddling me, it's not going to work. And I know that right off the bat, and that doesn't make them bad or wrong. If I share with them what my love languages are and they're not like scooting it, they're woo woo, not going to make it very long with me, right? So love languages are crucial to know, especially now in the holiday season. When you know someone, their love language from a laser sharp um, imagery from above, you can like remove yourself from 
this interaction with this person and just be present with them because you know their love language, right? Uh, one of my favorite love stories is uh, one of my clients, uh, she thought she was going to come and just be all sexy, like on the pole, like all my ladies think. And she ended up having the best, most natural relationship with her daughter. And she stopped making her daughter wrong for actually having some um, emotional issues when she's at school. She actually was able to stand proud in her skin, stand up behind her daughter, and pull her out of a school that wasn't serving her and put her in another one just because she figured out her daughter's love languages. So... Um, I hope that little tidbit helps you. I'm sorry I had to re-record this and couldn't do my sexy dance for you because Missy Elliott flip it and reverses, ver, reverse it is exactly what I would love to share with you this holiday season. Take something that you may believe is a certain way and flip it and be there for people in the world. Be naughty, be nice. So follow me over the next 12 days. I'll be sharing little tidbits that are sexy and naughty and most certainly nice because the cookie technique is all about you and i'm hoping i show up every day as your mirror to give you some kind of inspiration to make a difference in your life all right ladies i love you and the next time i dance for you i will record it put it on my youtube and drop it in so i can actually have that full effect of doing the dance without facebook like slapping me all right ladies and remember invite all your friends into this group over the next 12 days because there's going to be a raffle at the end where i draw a name and they get a free cookie technique even if they're out of state i'll do it on uh, virtual because i'm now doing virtual training um and or in person and let me tell you ladies this is thousands of dollars of worth but you guys are all thousands and millions of dollars to me so i want to give back and i want you to share this with all your girlfriends all your loved ones your sisters your aunts your i don't even care your grandmas i have had women in here up to 71 years old and they shock me and they cookie me back and i love them so much i love them anyways i'm gonna stop babbling thank you for joining me for my 12 days of christmas and i love you remember dump your cookie stand in your skin and love every freaking moment of your gorgeous life. Mwah.